Here are seven tips for avoiding isolation when working from home. Hello, I'm Dr. David McIver, CEO of WorkSafety Proprietary Limited at worksafety.co, and I'm the author of the Working From Home Safety Handbook, an employee guide to working safely from home. Isolation is one of the many traps and pitfalls I discuss in my book. Here are some ideas on combating isolation. Within the next few years, it's estimated that up to 50% of workers will be working full or part-time remotely, especially from their home. One in 12 of these workers who work remotely report feeling lonely. So although technology can allow you to be productive, beware of isolation, feeling lonely and being out of sight, out of mind from central workplace activities. Studies have shown that our brains are hardwired for us to work in groups. So while working in an office can provide that social interaction, working remotely is, by nature, solitary and isolated. And social isolation is a huge risk factor for the onset of depression. So one of the biggest traps of working from home or other remote and or unconventional workplace is being isolated. Here are seven tips to help you avoid feelings of isolation. Number one, communicate regularly with your manager and your co-workers. But don't overdo it. Studies indicate that remote workers tend to send more emails and communicate more often than necessary in case they are perceived as not working, lazy or not working hard enough. Even if you're working from home, it's a good practice to go into the central workplace if you can, at least fortnightly if not weekly, to keep up with developments. Face-to-face -face communication allows you to receive the non-verbal cues during a meeting as well as hearing the words that people are saying. So if you can't attend meetings in person, perhaps use a teleconferencing app like Skype or Hangouts. Secondly, establish your ground rules. Separate your personal and work space and time. Make sure your work colleagues know your work times and understand that outside those times, you're not available for work matters unless it's really, really important. And the same applies for family members and friends, only in reverse, but they also need to understand your work hours. Just because you work from home doesn't mean you're always available. So set a quitting time and stick to it. Then go and meet up with partners and family and friends and get out into the world. But avoid working from your bedroom. That's for going to bed and relaxing. Number four, prioritise your tasks. What must be done? What would it be good to get done? And then what's left if you have time? And beware of multitasking. Multitasking is an apparent ability to perform more than one task or activity at the same time. But research shows those who tend to multitask more tend to be pretty bad at prioritising their tasks. So if you're a multitasker, it may be better to put yourself in a traditional office where there are potentially fewer diversions. Be firm with yourself. When knock-off time comes, turn off your computer and phone and walk away. It's time to reconnect with family and friends. Number five, allow yourself time to take breaks. During the day, even five to ten minute breaks from work will recharge you and allow you to vary postures. A short walk outside of your home office will usually help clear your head and make you more productive. Tip number six, you don't have to work on your own all the time. Whilst introverts often respond positively to working away from other people who may cause distractions, people with more extrovert personalities tend to enjoy the hustle and the bustle of a busy office. 
So if that's you, you could try working from a shared office or an incubator space. There, you'll be able to collaborate and test ideas with like-minded entrepreneurs and peers. Number seven, know yourself. Accept that working from home is not for everyone. If you're finding it hard to separate work life from home and social life, or prioritise and complete important tasks by multitasking too much, or you can't find an appropriate place of your own in which to work, you might be better off back in your organisation's central workplace. So follow these tips to optimise your work from home experience. You can find more at www.worksafetyathome.com The traps and pitfalls of becoming isolated while working from home, together with many ideas for dealing with isolation, are amongst the many issues covered in the Working From Home Safety Handbook.